Hey everyone. Today we have yoga for runners. Um, this yoga class can actually be done by anybody who wants to open up their lower half. Uh, we're really focusing on opening up the hips, opening up the hamstrings and everything along the spine. Um, the reason I say that it's more for runners is because it's going to help you um, right before you go out there and you want to get that deep stretch before you run, but also afterwards you're going to be a little bit less sore. So that's one of the key things that we want. Uh, we'll start up at the top of our mat. If you want some props here, I set up two blocks next to my mat. Um, I'll show you guys areas that you can use them. We'll bring our feet so that they're about inner hip width apart. From here, shoulders up to the ears, take a deep breath in. Exhale, round them down your back, chest moves forward, palms face out. A couple rounds of breath here. We'll seal the lips, breathing in and out of the nose for the remainder of the class. Inhale, sweep the arms high, palms meet. Exhale, fold forward over the thighs. And then breathe into the low back here. We'll do a couple more just like that. As you exhale, you fold a little bit further. Inhale, lift to a flat back, bring more weight into the toes. Exhale, fold completely. Inhale, reach those arms high, palms meet. Exhale, hands to heart. Release, summit deeply. Inhale, bring it high. Feel that stretch through the side body and then exhale, fold it forward. Inhale, flat back here. Exhale, plant the palms down, spread the fingers, step your right foot way back here and tap your right knee down. Untuck your back toes and start to walk your hands up on top of your left thigh. Giant breath in. Exhale, press your hips forward as you lengthen through the spine. Inhale. Exhale, squeeze those stomach muscles in. Now you can stay here and continue to press the hips forward, opening up through the chest as you pull the shoulder blades back. Or feel free to reach the arms up, getting an extra stretch through the side body here, feeling length through the armpits as you reach out of the fingertops. Breath in. Out, squeeze the core, maybe pull the thumbs back as you look up. Let's take one more. Exhale, bring your palms all the way down. You'll tuck your back toes under, lift your back knee. Rock it back, step it forward, feet land hip width. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold, plant the hands, step that left foot way back, and then tap the knee down. Untuck those toes, crawl your hands up on the inhale. Exhale, hips go forward. Again. Reach those arms high, breathe in. Exhale, look up. Again. Pressing down through the top of your left foot. Let's take one more breath and get a little bit longer. Exhale, palms go down, back toe tucks, back knee lifts, rock it back, step it forward. Inhale, halfway lift up. Exhale, fold completely. 
Inhale, sweep the arms high. Exhale, hands to heart. Let it go. Inhale, bring it up. Exhale to fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, hands down, right leg all the way back once again. This time you keep your knee lifted and let's heel toe the left foot forward just a bit so that the left knee is right on top of the left ankle. Now you wanna keep your hands down here and you wanna to start to lift your chest. So we're in a low lunge, the hips go nice and low and then your gaze starts to come forward. Maybe even the crown of the head is reaching forward. Now here's a perfect place if you would like to use your props you can always set your blocks down to frame your front foot and then just lift your chest up a little bit higher as you drop your hips lower. Now remember, crown of the head is reaching forward, shoulder blades are pulling back. Take two more breaths here. Try to lift the back of the right knee all the way up. If you have props, Place them off to the side. Hands go down, rock it back, step it forward. Inhale to half lift. Exhale, fold, plant those hands, left leg out nice and long. And then set yourself up here, lift the chest, drop the hips, draw the stomach muscles in. If you used the props last time, you'll set them up again. Plant the palms down, press down to lift up. Hips go low. And then the back of the left leg goes high. Keep breathing. You wanna feel that opening here through the hips. So you're sending the breath there. Last breath. Place those props off to the side. Plant the hands, rock it back. Step it forward. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, slow. Reach the arms up. Exhale, hands to heart. And we'll release. Take one breath in here. Exhale, soften the shoulders. Inhale, sweep it up. Exhale to fold, pull the core in. Inhale, lift. Exhale, hands down, right leg goes all the way back. The knee remains lifted. You wanna to heel toe that left foot forward. And then this time we're coming into a runner's lunge. So activate the core, pull your left hip back, right hip rolls forward, and then extend the arms back along the sides, palms facing down. Crown of the head is still reaching forward and you're on the ball of the right foot. So that right heel is sticking up really high. Keep breathing. Squeeze the core and stay low. Last two breaths here. Draw the shoulders back. Exhale, hands down. Rock it back, step it forward. Inhale to lift, halfway, stomach in. Exhale, hands down, left leg back. All right. Set yourself up, engage the core. Find strength there first, then start to lift. Reach those fingers back. You want to keep the pinkies in close to the side body here so you can open up through the shoulders and the chest. Keep pressing down through the ball of the back foot like you're trying to kick the mat out from underneath you. And then shift that right hip back. Two more breaths. Take a breath in. Exhale, hands down. Rock it back, step it forward. Inhale to lift, halfway, long spine. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, stretch all the way up, look up. Maybe even take a bit of a back bend. 
Exhale, hands to heart. Let it go. One breath in and out. Inhale high. Exhale to fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, palms down, right leg goes back. All right, now you know how to set yourself up here in this lunge stance. I want you to go ahead, activate the core again, and then inhale, swing the arms high, crescent lunge, reach those fingers up, finding length here. And again, you wanna square the hips to the front of the mat. Straighten out the spine, maybe lean back a little bit, and then get a bit lower through the front thigh, creating a 90 degree angle here. Ro really rooting down, find your balance, and then inhale, get a little bit longer. Two more breaths. Stay low. Inhale, reach it up. Exhale, go ahead, fold. Rock it back, step it forward. Inhale, flat. Exhale, fold. Palms down, left leg back. Crescent lunge. Inhale, arms reach high. Exhale, get a bit lower. Make sure that your back heel is really lifting here. And then we go right all the way down. Inhale, reach long. Exhale to stay. Soften through the shoulders. Shift the right hip back. Last two breaths. Remember to straighten out the spine. Continue to pull the navel in. Inhale, reach it up. Exhale to fold. Let's step forward. Feet hip width. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, rise high. Exhale, hands to heart. Release the arms. And let's add on to that. Inhale, stretch the arms up. Exhale, fold. Inhale. Exhale, plant those hands, right leg back. Coming back into that crescent lunge. Move nice and slow. Take a breath in, get long. Breath out, get low. Again, breath in. Exhale, open out to a warrior two here. We'll do five really deep breaths. The fingers are reaching in opposite directions and the shoulders are soft. And just take a look back at your right foot. Trying to get that right foot so that it's at about 90 degrees so that the knife edge of your right foot is facing the back of the mat. And then straighten out the spine, get a little bit longer, tuck your tailbone under, stay low. Two more. Inhale, keep your arms where they are, just straighten your left leg. Stand really tall here. And then inhale, reach that left hand forward, turn the palms to face out. Exhale, Trikonasana. Right arm goes up, left hand goes down. Spread the fingers wide. And then try to look up at your right hand. Maybe your chin can even touch your right shoulder. And then trying to shift the right hip down as you pull the left hip back. We don't want to lock out the knees here, so there's a slight bend here. You may not be able to see it on me, but this would be a locked leg. This is a slightly bent leg. Draw the stomach in, continue to twist. Two more breaths. Inhale slow, let's reverse our triangle. Reach the left arm all the way up, look up towards the hip. Exhale, cartwheel the hands all the way down to the mat, framing your front foot. Now step it back into a down dog. Let's pedal the legs out. And then try to heavy the heels here as much as you can. You'll look forward in between the hands. 
and then lower your forearms down onto the mat. We're coming into a dolphin. Tuck the chin and start to walk the feet in closer towards your face. Continue to lower the heels here, breathing into the hamstrings. Lift those hips high and draw the stomach in. Let's take three breaths. All right, look between the hands. Let's walk the feet back so you come into a forearm plank here. Take a breath in and a breath out. Strengthen the core. One more. Nice and slow. Press yourself up into a high plank. Get those wrists right underneath the shoulders and then press it back to a down dog. One breath in and out. Inhale, roll forward, high plank. Exhale, tap your knees down, untuck the toes, nice and slow, all the way down to the ground, keeping the core engaged. Fingertips underneath the shoulders. Press down through the tops of the feet, lift the kneecaps, and then draw the stomach muscles in. Inhale, lift your head and chest. Chin remains tucked, you're looking down underneath you. Draw the shoulders back. Core remains engaged. Another deep breath in. And out. Last one. Exhale to lower. Let's press up on the into our tabletop, pressing the shins down, tops of the feet down. Two rounds of cat cow. Inhale, lift your gaze up, release the stomach muscles, draw the shoulders back. Exhale, round through the spine as you tuck your chin. One more. Inhale, brings you back to a neutral spine. Continue to tuck the stomach muscles in. Then tuck the toes under, lift back and up to your down dog. We'll pedal out the legs one more time. And then find some stillness. Press down into the fingertips. Extend the right leg all the way up, point the toes, breathe in. Exhale, right knee to nose. Look between your hands, step that foot down. Walk your hands out in front of you. Also, again, feel free to use your props if that just feels right. Plant your palms down. Bring all of your weight into your right foot. Extend your left leg high, standing split. Now from here, inhale, lift the chest up. Come into a flat back. Exhale to fold. Now point the toes and then lift that leg up a bit higher as you draw the stomach muscles in. Inhale, lift the spine up. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, kick it back and up. Exhale, knee to nose. Last one, inhale high. Exhale, draw it in, keep it in, and then bring both hands to the left shin as you nice and slow come all the way up to stand, drawing the knee in towards your chest. Breath in, get long. Breath out, squeeze. One more. Flexing the left foot. You'll transfer your hands underneath the left foot and then interlace the fingers underneath. Try to keep your chest up. Inhale, extend the left heel forward. And then again, try not to lock out the leg here. Micro bend, lift up through the spine and start to draw the shoulders back. One breath in, one breath out. Inhale, get longer. Exhale, pull it back in, release the foot. Stand tall. Breath in and out. Inhale, stretch it high. Exhale to fold. Inhale, lengthen up. Exhale, plant the hands down. Left leg goes all the way back. Here we are, crescent lunge again on the other side. Lengthen the arms high. Exhale, get low. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, reach it up, nice and long. Exhale, open out, warrior two. Check back with that back foot, 90 degrees. Reach the arms wide, straighten out the spine. Get a bit lower, 
Draw the stomach in, tuck the tailbone under. Three breaths left. Make them really big. Inhale, straighten your right leg. Straighten out the spine. Then inhale, reach it forward, turn your palms out. Exhale, triangle pose. You don't wanna to put too much weight here in this bottom hand. You almost wanna use the obliques to lift the hand away from the right shin. And then look up at your left hand. If you need to tap this hand towards the calf or the shin, just for a little bit more balance, please do. But then really start to engage and pull the hand away. Continue to press down as you rise up and twist. Two more breaths. Inhale, slow, bring it all the way up. Let's reverse our triangle. Inhale, cartwheel your hands down. Frame that front foot. Step back to a down dog. Pedal those legs out. Breath in. And breath out. Look forward between the hands. Lower down onto the forearms. Coming into that dolphin pose here. Lower the heels. Start to walk the feet in a bit closer. And then try to look between your ankles. If your shirt's not in the way like mine is. Take a couple rounds of breath. Draw the stomach in. Look forward between the hands, walk the legs back, come into a forearm plank. Breath in, breath out. One more. Press down into the hands, rise up, high plank. Exhale, down dog. All right, inhale, roll it forward, high plank. Exhale, lower all the way down to the mat. Keep your elbows facing the back of the wall. And come down completely, untucking the toes. Walk the hands back so that they frame the rib cage here. And then press down through the tops of the feet. Press into the palms. Lift the head and chest completely as you lift the knees. Stay here. Tuck the chin. Lift the crown of the head. One more. Now from here, lower the knees down, press yourself into a tabletop. Two rounds of cat-cow. Inhale to neutral. Exhale, tuck those toes, back into down dog we go. Inhale, left leg reaches up. Exhale, draw the left knee in towards your nose. Look between the hands, step that left foot down. Walk the hands forward. If you used the blocks last time, use them again. Press down into the palms, kick that right heel high. Lift your chest up, point the toes and fold. Inhale to lift, exhale knee to nose. Inhale to lift. Exhale, draw it in. Last one, inhale, get nice and long. Exhale, pull it in. Bring the hands to the outside of your right leg and start to pull the knee up in towards the chest. And flex the foot, drop the shoulders, lengthen through the chest, breathing in. Breathing out, you squeeze. Hands underneath the right foot, interlace the fingers. Inhale, extend the right heel forward, lift the chest. Try to keep kicking out through the heel. Draw those stomach muscles in. Inhale, lift. Exhale, pull it back in. And then just release, shake the legs out. Inhale, stretch it high. Exhale to fold forward. 
Inhale, half lift. Exhale, plant the palms, lower the knees down. So come to sit up on the shins here. Whew. Finding a little bit more length here through the spine as you separate the knees right underneath the hips. And then bring your hands to your low back. Fingers will face down. You just want to frame the spine. Inhale, get a bit taller. Exhale, press the hips forward. Roll the shoulders back like you're trying to get the elbows to touch. And then keep the chin tucked as you lift your gaze up. Core muscles are engaged. You lift up through the center of your chest. Exhale, bring it back. Tracing an imaginary line on the ceiling here. Two more. Inhale up. Exhale, sit down. All right. Just take your right hand to the outside of the left thigh. Left finger taps down. Sit tall, breathe in. Exhale, twist. Draw the stomach in. Feel that compression here. One more breath. Squeeze and twist. Inhale back to center. Let's sit back up on the shins, hands framing the spine. Inhale, get long. Exhale, press those hips forward. Gaze starts to lift. Elbows pulling back. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale. Feel the flexion in the back here as you find more length through the front body. Two more breaths. Inhale, bring it up. Exhale, sit it down. Remember to keep the spine long. Left hand outside of right thigh. Right finger tops down. Inhale, longer. Exhale, twist. Keep breathing. Last one. Deepest twist yet. Inhale forward to center. Exhale, sit it back up. Now this time you have the option to do what we just did for both rounds. Take a third one. Or we'll go a little bit deeper and we'll come into full camel. Inhale, lift the chest, draw the shoulders back. Exhale, press the hips forward, lift the chest, lift the gaze. Breath in, breath out. If you wanna come into full camel, you'll reach back for the heels and then drop your gaze completely, pressing your hips forward, trying to still lift up here through the front body. We'll take two more full rounds of breath. If you're all the way down in a full camel, bring your hands back onto your body, lift it back up, sit it down. Hands on top of the thighs, two deep breaths here. And then just reach it forward, planting the palms, spreading the fingers, step back into a down dog. Settle those legs out. We'll take three rounds of breath. Try to lift those hips super high. Get the heels really low. Wrap the outer armpit down towards the mat so you can hollow out the armpits. Inhale, right leg reaches up, point the toes. Exhale, right knee, right wrist. Ankle moves over towards the opposite wrist. 
and you'll lower your hips down towards the mat. And you've got those props there. If you'd like to use them, place it underneath your right hip. Otherwise, let's try to square off our shin to the front of the mat here while flexing the left, or I'm sorry, while flexing the right foot. You wanna look over the left shoulder, make sure that that left leg is out nice and long and continue to lift the chest here. We're finding a proud pigeon for a few rounds of breath. We keep lengthening up through the spine and then settling the hips down a bit further so you can square the hips completely. And let's start to walk our hands over to the right just a bit, keeping the chest up. Maybe even look back over the right shoulder. Really breathing into the hip joint and the spine. Inhale, walk the hands back to center. Lift the chest longer. Exhale, walk the hands forward. Coming all the way down, either onto stacked hands or forehead to mat or to prop. We'll take about five really deep, slow breaths here. Try to relax the stomach muscles and relaxing all the muscles through the face. Release the shoulders. And just let yourself get really heavy here. Inhale, lift your gaze up, walk the hands back. Nice and slow, shift your weight over onto your right hip. Extend the left leg all the way out and then wrap it around so that the left toes are in line with your right knee. You'll pull the right heel in towards your left glute. Sit up tall, squeeze that left knee in. Left hand goes back behind you. Inhale, reach it long through the right hand. Exhale, right elbow outside the left thigh. Sit up tall, breath in. Exhale to twist, really pressing into the outer left thigh here. Drawing in through the core. Let's take one more deep breath. Inhale, come back through the center. Exhale, counter twist in the opposite direction, just walking your hands off to the right side of the mat as you look over the right shoulder. Take a breath in. And breath out, squeeze. Inhale, back to center. You'll bring the soles of the feet together. Coming into Baddha Konasana or butterfly pose here. Start to pull the heels in a bit closer to the body. As you separate the feet with the hands, you press the tops of the feet down. Inhale, lift up, allow the knees to spread out and drop heavy. Exhale, fold, maintaining a long spine. Use the elbows to press the knees down. Inhale. Exhale, draw the stomach in and fold. We've got a few more rounds of breath here. Let's see how low we can go, trying to get the center of our chest down towards our feet. That's going to help you keep a long spine here rather than rounding through the spine. Inhale, slow, lift all the way back up. Again, you'll take that left leg back behind you, coming back into a proud pigeon. Take your time getting into that. And then you've got the option here for another pigeon. Otherwise, we're gonna take another variation while we're here. 
You'll lift the chest high. Exhale, start to walk the hands out. You'll take your left arm and just go ahead and thread it underneath your right armpit. Start to lower down so that your ear taps onto the mat or onto a prop. And then extend your right arm all the way up. Wrap it around your back and grab onto the right foot. You know, open up the shoulder. If you can't reach the right foot or you're having a tough time, you can always use a strap here. Just hook it around the foot, grab onto it, or just bring the back of the hand to the low back as you just open up through the shoulder blade. Really feeling that stretch right now through the hip flexor. Take two more rounds of breath. Inhale slow, bring that right arm up. Exhale, plant it down. Let's move any props out of the way. We'll lift our chest up. Palms are flat on the mat. You'll tuck your back toes and then extend your right leg all the way up. Let's open up through the right side, pull the right heel towards the left glute, and try to keep the chest squared to the mat as you just lift the right knee a bit higher. One breath in, and out, open. Inhale, extend your right leg up, three-legged down dog, point the toes. Exhale, right knee, right elbow, stay here, breathe in, breathe out. One more. Step it back to a high plank. Let's glide forward. Exhale, lower halfway. Inhale, pull your chest up and through. Up dog, shoulders move back. Exhale, down dog. Other side. Inhale, left leg reaches high. Exhale, left knee to left wrist. Ankle to the opposite wrist as you slowly come down onto the ground. Let's try to square that left shin up towards the front edge of the mat as much as we can. If that's too much on the knee joint, feel free to just pull your heel in a bit closer towards the groin. Just remember to sit up really tall here. We're doing a proud pigeon first. And then as you extend a little bit more, you'll walk your hands over towards the left. Keep breathing. And maybe look over that left shoulder. Do one more. Deepest twist yet. Inhale back to center. Exhale into your half pigeon. Lower all the way down to whatever variation you took on the other side. Just remember to relax the entire front body here. Everything is getting heavy towards the ground. Full cycle of breath here. Inhale, lift the chest, walk the hands back. Exhale, shift your weight onto your left hip, swing that right leg around, plant the toes out in line with your left knee. As you pull the left heel in, you'll sit up tall, squeeze the right knee in. Right hand goes down. Left hand reaches high, breathe in. Exhale, twist. Stay tall, breathe in. Exhale, really ring out the body here. One more. Inhale, bring it back up. 
Exhale, walk it out. One more breath. Squeeze and twist. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, Baddha Konasana. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Again, a few more really deep rounds here. Try to keep the sit bones completely rooted down into the ground. And then just notice any differences here in this version of your butterfly compared to the last round. Seeing if you can go a little bit deeper, maybe feeling a little bit less pain, muscles feel a bit more open. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, left shin facing the front of the mat. Right leg extends back. You're back here in your proud pigeon. Feel that. Flex the left foot if your shin is parallel. Sit up nice and tall. Breath in. Breath out. Start to walk your hands forward. Your right arm now threads underneath your left. Palm is facing up. You'll lower onto your right shoulder and your right ear or use a prop underneath the right ear. Inhale, left arm high. Exhale to wrap. Grab onto the left foot if you can. You may need to scoot your foot down just a little bit, but keep reaching out through the right fingers and then rolling the left shoulder open as you look up. Open up the hips a bit more. See if you can soften there. Last breath. Inhale, left arm reaches high. Unravel, come all the way back down and bring that right arm back to where it was. You'll tuck your back toes under, walk your hands back, spread those fingers, and then go ahead, lift that leg up, three-legged down dog. Point the toes and pull the left heel towards the right glute. Keep the chest squared, breathe in, and breathe out, open up. Inhale, stretch that left leg high. Exhale, draw the left knee in towards your left elbow. Breath in, start to strengthen more as you press the mat away, and breath out. Inhale, extend that left leg back, press back to a down dog. Now inhale, roll it forward, high plank. Exhale, lower halfway, elbows facing the back. Inhale, pull your chest up and through. Exhale, down dog. Four rounds of breath here. Keep lifting the hips. Inhale, lift up onto the toes, look between the hands. Exhale, bend your knees a lot in either step or jump your feet through your hands. So you'll just crisscross the ankles, sit down on your bum, and then we'll spread those legs really wide, coming into a straddle. Inhale, lengthen up through the chest, flex the feet. Exhale, point the toes. Inhale, sit up taller, flex. Exhale, walk the hands forward. Either coming down onto the forearms or just reaching your hands out as far as they'll go. Now you can go ahead here, start to round through the spine. Just keep the feet flexed. Also, if you've got your props and you want to set them up, you can either bring your forehead down to one or if it's not reaching, feel free to stack props, okay? So you've got plenty of variations here. If you are on the props, bring your palms to face up so you can soften through the shoulders. If you are down on the forearms, 
Bring your palms to face up as well and tuck your chin down towards your chest. Try to soften the muscles right here up through the top portion of the spine. Let's take one more breath. Inhale, unravel, you'll come up to seated. Exhale, legs together out in front. Bring your hands down to frame the hips. Then I want you to flex your feet a lot. Inhale, lift the chest, roll the shoulders back. So now the chest is reaching forward, your chin is tucked. Take a breath in, get taller through the top of the head. Exhale, draw your stomach muscles in and then press down through your palms and lift your booty up away from the mat just a bit here. You'll feel that activation. I want you to breathe into that. Exhale, let it go. Keep the feet flexed. Inhale, lengthen the arms up. Exhale to fold. Inhale, lift the chest through. Exhale, fold, elbows facing down. Let's do that two more times. Last round. Inhale, bring it high. Exhale, palms face up, long spine. Nice and slow, lower yourself all the way down onto the mat. Take your time getting here. I want you to get that little bit of core work. Then release completely flat. So walk your feet in. You're setting yourself up for a bridge here. Fingers touching the heels, spread the fingers wide. Press down through the feet, press into the palms. Inhale, lift the hips, roll the shoulders underneath you. Four rounds of breath. And start to spin the inner thighs down and towards one another as you lift the hips higher. And just start to look towards the back of your mat, lifting the gaze up, lifting the hips up, lifting the chest up. Nice and slow, one vertebrae at a time you lower down. All right, bring your right leg all the way up. Let's cross the right ankle over the left knee. Flex the foot, bring the arms out to the side. Take a breath in. Exhale, drop both legs on over to the right while your gaze goes left. We're stretching the whole front section right here, going all the way down into the psoas. And I want you to try to soften so that maybe your right knee can touch the ground Maybe your left knee can touch the ground. Breathing up and down the left side body. We'll take three more full breaths. Inhale, everything back up to center. Exhale, plant your right foot down. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, cross the ankle, flex the foot. Take a breath in. Exhale, both legs drop over to the left. Gaze goes right. See if you can apply a little bit of pressure here into the left foot so that the right knee heavies a bit more down towards the mat. Not only are you breathing into the right side body here, you're also breathing into the spine. One more breath. Inhale, 
inhale through to center. Exhale, left foot down. If you have a prop and you'd like to set yourself up for a restorative bridge, you'll just lift your hips, slide the prop underneath onto whatever height feels good for you and land here. Otherwise, we're coming into another set of bridge. So walk the feet in, touch the heels, press down to the palms, press into the feet, lift everything up. Roll those shoulders underneath. If you wanna interlace the fingers here underneath the low spine, Press the pinky edge of your hand down so that you can lift up through the hips. Really rooting down into the shoulders, the back of the head as you lift your gaze up. Take three more breaths. Remember, you're lifting through the center of the chest as well. Slowly release the hands if you're in a bridge. Lower your hips down. If you're in restorative, lift your hips up, remove the block, and come flat. Everybody in, all right, or bring the arms out to the sides. Right leg goes up. Exhale, cross the right leg over your left. Lift your hips, slide them over to the right a couple inches, and then drop both knees over to the left while you bring your gaze right. Now we're really focused on breathing into the spine here. And feel free to take your left hand to the outside of your right thigh as you look right. Also, if your legs being bound up like this is too intense on the spine, you can always just stack the knees or bring a prop right in between the knees. I just want you to feel like the back body right now is getting a bit wrung out. So let's take two more rounds of breath. You'll inhale, bring your gaze and your knees back to center. Step your right foot down, straighten out the spine. Neutralize here, breath in and out. Other side, left leg high, cross it over, shift the hips left, drop the knees right. Try to keep that left shoulder blade glued onto the mat, no matter what variation you're taking here. Inhale, everything to center. Exhale, plant that left foot down. Neutralize the spine, breathe in. Exhale, knees to chest. You wanna wrap your arms around your shins, give yourself a giant hug, reach for opposite elbows or forearms. Take a breath in. Exhale, draw your forehead up towards your knees. Stay here for your next breath in and then really squeeze on your breath out. Inhale, legs separate, they go long. We're coming into our final pose. Shavasana, arms along the sides, palms facing up. Rock the shoulders underneath you, and then just come to rest. Let's take one cycle of breath together. Breathe in through the nose. Hold it once you've got all that air stuck in your lungs. Stay here. Three, two, one, take one more sip in. Open your mouth, let it all go. Let the entire back body melt down into the floor. And start to come back to your normal breathing. Start to quiet the mind. 
letting go of anything you just did here on your mat. Focus on the feeling you're experiencing now. We have a soft, relaxed body that I'll leave you here. If you're ready to come out, we'll do so slowly. Namaste. I hope that now you're able to go enjoy your run. Really productive and there's zero soreness tomorrow. Thank you guys again for joining me. Have a great one.